Hi guys, Oliver Eaton here and welcome to week 19, our festive fixture prediction show uh, of Premier League predictions. We've got 10 festive fixtures to predict, but we're going to start with last week's results, which out of the 9 games we did alright. We got 2 correct scores, bringing our season total to 18 out of 18 weeks. Uh, we also got 2 correct uh, results there as well. You guys did alright, the common score to get was Wolves 2, Norwich 1. and as you can see, two was our biggest, so well done to George P and uh, him in the corner as well on the left. And we also had a couple of winners on here. Thomas Welch again getting that crown as well as Soburn, Sohail. Uh, well done to everyone. Thank you for everyone. Oh, and Max Essie as well uh, getting the crown as well there. So thank you guys all uh, for commenting. Let's do it again today. Let's see who could win this week. Here is my festive fixtures predictions. And we're going to start with Brighton versus Tottenham Hotspur. And I've gone for a 2-0 home win. Tottenham were defeated 2-0 against Chelsea in the end. Brighton, they were defeated by Sheffield. So both teams will be wanting to try and do a lot better. And I think uh, Tottenham will. They're at home again. Uh, I think Brighton not push over this season, but I've gone for that 2-0 to the home side. Villa were unlucky against uh, Southampton. Uh, they to win 3-0 against bottom of the table Norwich. Uh, they got a goal against Wolves, didn't they, in the end? But um, it wasn't enough, and I think uh, it might be a very miserable Christmas for Norwich fans as well. Bottom of Arsenal. Arsenal are a strange side, but I think Arteta should be in the seat for this one. Uh, they're against the bottom side, who themselves are going a little free fall themselves. So I've gone for the away win, actually. I think it'll be a new manager bounce kind of impact here, uh, and 2 1 will be the scoreline. Chelsea Southampton have gone for a 2-0 home win. I think it'll be more routine for them. Southampton, they're picking up points now. Uh, they're trying to push away from the bottom half of the table, and they're doing that pretty well. Chelsea, they're just battling for top four. I think they'll get three points here, 2-0. Palace, West Ham, both teams seem uh, not to be scoring much, especially Ka uh, Crystal Palace. They're not uh, scoring too much this season. And I've gone for a 1-1 draw. I can't really separate both sides. It could be 1-0 either side, <laughs> so I've gone 1-1. One, one. Everton, what what a manager signing that is. Uh, they're against the Burnley side, who themselves are, um, picked up, I think, two wins now on the bounce, is it? 2-1, um, though, to the home side. I, I'm back in Everton on this one uh, to win the game at Goodson Park. Uh, so 2-1. 1-0 uh, to Sheffield United. It seems a... Uh, Sheffield are really pushing for the top four this season. Uh, they're against the Watford side, who did get a win against Manchester United. I mean, who doesn't? But uh, I've gone for the home side again. Their defence is so strong. It's got to be that clean sheet, 1-0. Manchester United to recover. They're against Newcastle, who... Newcastle, you know, they've been picking up some big wins. But I think Man United at home, they might be up for this one. I think there will definitely be goals in it. And I've gone for that 3-1. To the home side, hopefully Rashford scores because he's on my fantasy team. Big one here, the title decider match. I've, I've gone for a 2-1 Liverpool. Uh, it seems to come a score between these two sides over the last five years, and I, I've gone, I've gone for that again. I think Liverpool, that you know, they're probably one of the best sides in the world. Well, they literally are the best side in the world right now. So, talking of uh, current champions, Man City to win Wolves 2-1. I'm going to be honest, I had it at 2-1 Wolves, then I had it at 1-1, and I've switched it last second to 2-1 Man City. So, I'm unsure. It could go either way. It depends on what form we see Wolves appearing in this match. And that concludes this week's predictions. Make sure you follow, subscribe, and make sure you comment. And I hope all you have a wonderful Christmas. Bye-bye.